Good day, good day. It's 7.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm coming towards the end of a, an hour of training on my indoor bicycle. I've had lots of questions lately from this Cycling Lifers uh, about weight reduction. So what I'm going to do is talk you through my five tips in six minutes uh, for losing weight healthfully. So my first piece of advice for you um, is just try to stick to an overall healthy diet uh, in your life and with your family. Anna, me and the kids and I, we try to eat foods that are low in fat, low in sugars, lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. That's the starting point. Now, um, I joke with the kids and they fall around laughing when I say I've turned vegan. But the truth is, uh, I've adopted many of the principles of the vegan diet. So I've cut down on meats, on dairy. Um, I also um, have cut out uh, foods like white rice from my diet, replace that with quinoa. Uh, I eat very little bread. So instead of bread, I eat uh, porridge, or what the Dutch speakers here in Belgium call havermout. Um, I mix that with some grated apple, some oat milk. Uh, I use put some raisins in, maybe some uh, prunes, dried prunes for fiber. That's a really great food because it's a slow burn carbohydrate, it fills you up and it's much healthier than some other breakfast foods you could have like bread and cereal. Um, equally um, importantly there um, is uh, I, when I'm traveling for business, oh, it's dangerous, you know, like I speak at a lot of conferences and events. When I go to the US, I was at a conference uh, in Miami a few months ago, the donuts were as big as my head, these huge muffins and cookies. Steer away from that stuff, okay? Because it's snack food which is really high in calories, high density, but it doesn't really fill you up and you get hungry afterwards. So just as you try to follow you know, an overall healthy diet at home, when you're traveling on business, make sure that you do that as well. Um, I often carry with me um, carrots, uh, bananas, you know, healthier foods if I know that there's not gonna be healthy foods at the event, okay? So what we're trying to do here um, is go for those snacks, again, low calorie, uh, high bulk foods, which fill you up a little bit, but don't have the same uh, weight gaining problems. Um, there's also an issue here um, related, related to rewarding, right? So a lot of people, the psychology research shows, that when they start exercising, they actually put on weight. You exercise and you get fatter. Like, what's going on here? Well, what the research shows is that people feel often when they start exercising that they now deserve to reward themselves. So after their bike ride and run, they pig out, they hit the cookie jar or they eat a pizza. Don't do that, <laughs> okay? So, you know, after you exercise, again, it's simple. Back to the healthy eating principles. Low calorie, high bulk foods, high uh, in vitamins, minerals, lots of fresh fruit, vegetables, and other stuff like that, okay? Harbour malt. Um, so that's very, very important, okay? Now there's also something here which I do, very simple principle, um, which is called periodic fasting. Now, it's not like that I go the whole day without eating or the several days without eating. But what I do is when I'm trying to lose weight is I never eat after 8 p.m. in the evening uh, and then I try not to eat again before 9 a.m. the next morning. Now why is that? Because your body stores around 12 hours worth of glycogen. Once that glycogen is burned off, you switch, switch to fat burning. Okay. So what I do is I wake up in the morning like I did this morning, I have my coffee, then I'm doing an hour of easy exercise before breakfast. So what am I doing? My glycogen stores are burned off and I'm immediately kicking in to fat burning. Great way to lose weight. Now you have to be careful with this one because you don't want to fast before doing an aerobic exercise. So if you're doing sprint training or intervals, you need glycogen, you need those sugars which are burned during anaerobic uh, efforts. So when I'm doing those hard days, I wake up in the morning, I have a good breakfast, and then I go and do the efforts early on. Now it's important to do them early on, you burn off the glycogen. Then what I do is I do another hour, sometimes two hours, very easy afterwards. I'm straight into fat burning. So I find during those periods where I'm doing intensive training, combining that with easy, I really lose weight. Great way to do it, okay? Um, there's something else here, very simple. It's about willpower. Now please, <laughs> don't, think I'm, don't think I'm arrogant. Don't think that I've got, you know, like, lost more willpower than anybody else in the world. So, but I use a few psychology tricks. And one of those tricks is called the 10-minute uh, rule. So what that says is if you do feel the urge to, to snack, to pig out, to go for that giant-sized muffin or donut, hold off. Say, if in 10 minutes I'm still feeling hungry, I'll have a snack. And what the research shows, and my experience really proves, is that if you do that, you're much less likely after that 10 minutes to go for the snack. And what you're much less likely to do, certainly, is to go for an unhealthy snack. So I might still be feeling hungry after 10 minutes, 
but I've reflected about it, I've thought about it and said, you know what, I'm probably better to go for my halva malt or eat some carrots than I am to pig out on cookies and cakes and muffins, all right? So it gives you that little moment of reflection um, instead of going for instant gratification. That for me is probably one of the most powerful tips um, that I'm sharing with you today. 10 minutes of pause before you go for the cookie, cookie barrel, okay? So I hope you've found these um, five tips useful. Um, if you have, please like this video, share with your friends. Uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and of course, my, I really believe that if you apply these principles, you can do it. So good luck uh, with that journey. Any questions, comments, please do write them below.